I am going to show you how you can take an ordinary looking report like this and make it extraordinary like this using Power BI tooltips. Let's go. This is how the tooltips in Power BI work. When you point on a data value in the visual, it will show you the relevant details in a tooltip like that. So right now it is telling me the gender and employee type breakdown in the alpha department. But if I go to beta, I can see how that looks like. Tooltips are amazing for showing extra detail and providing valuable insights. So let's create this from scratch so that we can understand how you can set this up. I will add a blank page and I'm going to build any visual. It doesn't matter what visual you are building. Most visuals within the visualizations panel can have a tooltip attached to that. So let's make a column chart and in this column chart, I'm going to put my department onto X axis and a measure like headcount onto Y axis. So we can see how many people are there by each department. For example, alpha has about 1700 people and the default tooltip will read like this. If I just want to see something else like the female ratio within the alpha department, I do have a measure here and I can drag and drop that into the tooltips area of the visualization settings thing. And then what it will do is it will show me what is the ratio of females within that department. This is the normal tooltip. To make the special tooltip, you need to add a separate page. And this page is where you will construct your tooltip. There are a few things that you need to do to set up the tooltips. The first thing is you may want to name your page in a rememberable fashion. So I'm going to call this as TT gender details. TT is a short for tooltip and then the next thing that you want to do is click anywhere in the white space and then go to the format your report page options and from here go to canvas settings and locate the type option change this to tooltip. Now your page will resize to a smaller canvas suitable for setting up the tooltip. In this little canvas you can create whatever you want and that will show up as a tooltip on the main visual. So in this page, let's add a pie chart that tells us how many people are there by various gender. So we will go into the pie chart and on the legend, we will put gender and on to the values, we will put the head count. So we can see a breakdown by gender. Now, if I come back to page one, what I want to do is when I point on any department, I want to see that pie chart for that department. So select this visual, go to the format options for the visual, Go to general and expand the tooltips. The tooltip type should be report page and the page type should be TT gender details. You can see that it is showing me all other pages in my report, but I'm going to just pick the TT gender details for now. And here it will show me the gender pie graph for each of the departments. As you move around, the values will change, creating for such a dynamic interpretation of the data. Now let's talk a little bit about some extra tips on the tooltips thing. Whatever you put on the tooltip page will go there. So for example, if I select this and go to canvas background and maybe set a background color like that. So you can see that there is a background color now. When you come back here, that background color shows through. Likewise, you are not limited to putting just one visual. You can put two visuals. So if I put this like this and in this space, I'm going to add one more bar graph. So we have two visuals and when you come back here, both of them will show up. Another trick with tooltips is within the tooltips, you may want to just show the detail, but not the headings or the legend or anything else. Because when people are reading the tooltip, they just don't have that kind of time or detail oriented question. They just want to know a little bit more, not the full story. So a good idea would be to select the visuals on your tooltip page and go to general, turn off the title and remove any other distractions on the tooltips. So for example, I may even consider removing the legend. Now when I see this, I'll get a different picture. Another great way to enhance your Power BI reports is to use the conditional formatting feature. Here is a video that talks about it. Check it out.